hope you had a chance to read along with me this book, The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. Now that you've had a chance to listen to the story and learn about what happened, we're going to talk about that a little bit more. So we're going to talk about the parts of the story and see if you can answer some questions. So let's talk about the book. When we talk about a book, we talk about the characters, the setting, and the plot. Let's see if you can help me figure these out. So let's first talk about the characters. When you talk about the characters in the story, you want to ask the question, who? Who was in the story? And your answer is either going to be people or animals. So who do you think the main character is in this story? You can get a hint from looking at the cover. Was it a strawberry, a mouse, or a ladder? Let's see. Who was in the story? If you guessed the mouse, you were right. Remember, when you ask a who question, the answer is going to be a person or an animal. We can also talk about the setting of the story. And when we talk about the setting, we might ask, where did the story take place? When you ask a where question, the answer is going to be a place or a location. In the setting, we can also talk about when. We might ask, when did the story take place? When you ask a when question, the answer is going to be a time, a time of day, or a year, or even a season. Now let's talk about the setting. Let's look at the book and see if you could tell something about the setting, where the story takes place. Hmm. I think when we look at this first page, we can get an idea by looking all around. And then even on this page too. What kind of a place does this look like? So what do you think the setting is for our story? Where did it take place? Outside in the forest? On a farm? Or on a playground? Think about your answer. Now let's check. Did you guess outside in the forest? Great job! Another question you can ask about the setting is when did the story take place? Do you think it took place in the daytime or at night in the evening? The nighttime. Think about your answer. Let's check. When did the story take place? If you guessed the daytime, you were right. And then we can talk about the plot of the story. When we talk about the plot, we're going to ask what happened? 
Was there a problem in the story that needed to be solved? We might talk about what happened first, what came next, then what happened, and finally, the last part of the story. So now let's talk about the plot. Remember, the plot is what happens in the story. A lot happened in this story, and there was a problem that our mouse had. The plot. What happened in our story? What was the problem? Did the mouse fall down while he was trying to climb up the ladder to get the strawberry? Did he say, I don't want a strawberry, I want pizza instead? Or was he afraid of that the big hungry bear was going to get his strawberry? Think about your answer. Let's check and see. Did you guess that he was afraid that the big hungry bear was going to get his strawberry? You were right. So let's see what happened first in the story. So what happened first in our story? Did the mouse pick the strawberry? Did the mouse hide under a blanket? Did the mouse eat a strawberry? Think about your answer. What happened first? Let's check your answer. Did you say that the mouse picked a strawberry first? Good job remembering the story. Next, he heard about a big hungry bear who loved strawberries. And so that little mouse got that strawberry and ran away with it. And he tried to hide it and disguise it. Let's talk about what happened next in the story. Did he eat the strawberry? Did he take the strawberry and hide under a blanket and disguise it? Or did he throw the strawberry in a trash can? Think about your answer. Okay, let's check. Did you say that you thought he took the strawberry and hid it under a blanket and disguised it? Nice job thinking about the details of the story. Then, that little mouse decided the only way he could keep it from that bear was to cut it in half and give part of it to you and eat the other part himself. Then what happened? Did he climb up a ladder? Did he close his door after going inside to hide? Or did he eat the strawberry? Think about what your answer is. Let's check. Did you say that he ate that strawberry up? If you did, good thinking. And 
And the last thing that happened was he was very happy because the bear did not get his strawberry. He kept the strawberry and he ate it and was happy and was so full he had to take a nap. And what happened last? Did he like the strawberry so much he wanted to plant some more? Did he go take a nap because he was full and happy? Or did he go inside to take a bath because he was dirty from playing outside? Think about your answer. All right, let's check. Did you say he took a nap because he was so full and happy? You are right. Good listening. Now it's your turn to retell the story. Look at all the pictures and tell me one thing about each of the parts of our story. We can start with number one and remember to use our special word first. And you'll go to the next picture and tell what happened next, then, and last. So your turn, you start at the beginning and tell me the story. See if you can remember it all. Hey, what a great job you did today talking about the little mouse, the red ripe strawberry, and the big hungry bear. Today, we talked about the character, the setting, and the plot. And we're gonna be doing that with some more books later on. So I hope you remember what those things are and have a good day. Talk to you later.